Hello everyone, it's the first episode of Talent Talks, first one of the semester, and as you can see, I have a new co-host. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Larissa Morales. Rest in peace, Lauren. She is no longer with Talent Marks, but she is still alive, so no need to pout too much. And today our topic is Valentine's Day. What does Valentine's Day mean to you guys? Valentine's Day means I get a box of chocolates and he gets nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. It's like so the gift is expected then. Yes, a gift is expected. How much do you think the gift has to be to be, like, officially a Valentine's Day gift? I don't think there's an amount. I just think I need to be recognized. You need to be recognized? Mm -hmm. What did you need to be recognized? Just the chocolates? Yeah, chocolates are good. Flowers are good, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the Epoch Times uh, gladly disagree with you. They say men spend about $175 on Valentine's Day alone. And men, I mean women, Coming at $88, which I feel is really hurtful to the guys. Mm -hmm. Girls need to spend more money on us. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> but Valentine's Day, it's, I feel like it's more than just a, a couple's thing. I feel like it's showing love to your family, to the friends around you. And it's also a chance for guys to like go out and find that Valentine's Day date. Like, so there's hope for the single guys out there. Why not have a friend's date? Can you do that? Why not? I don't, in my research right here, it doesn't say that friends can hang out on Valentine's Day. But doesn't have to, <laughs> doesn't have to be research to hang out with your friends, right? So then how, how, would, how would someone go about this? Just like, hey, you want to meet up on Valentine's Day? Like, no homo? Pretty much, yeah. Oh. Hashtag no homo. Hashtag no homo. Well, <laughs> I know Valentine's Day gifts are important, but 85% of people, according to CNN, say that sex is important on Valentine's Day. So I guess yes, you need <laughs> you need to show the love on the day of love. Makes sense. I don't <laughs> see why not. But yeah, it's like so you don't you don't need any flowers then, like like no. you're not the roses kind of girl. No flowers die. Why would you give me something that dies? I would, I would cho you eat cho you eat chocolates. They <laughs> die. They, they don't die. die. They don't. They do not die. Flowers do. Flower, chocolates could end up in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I feel sad about is, um, also according to CNN, that pet owners only spend about $4.52 on their animals. And there are a lot of cat ladies out there that I... <laughs> cat ladies out there that I feel need to spend more money on their pets, because to some people, their pets are their life. And $5 is not going to cut it when people are spending over 80 bucks on people. So you're a pet person. I love my dog, but I probably won't even spend five bucks on her. So this year, I need to make sure that I spend more than five dollars. Coco, what are you gonna buy? If you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna buy her a new toy, maybe a, a brand new bag of food. But another thing uh, Valentine's Day has brought us is penicillin. Cure syphilis. I don't think that's around anymore. Well, it probably is around, but not it's in America. Still around. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to maybe worry about it. Maybe not around you, but it's because still around. Because of Valentine's Day, it's still around. So what do, you, what, what do you have planned for Valentine's Day, though? Um, sitting in front of my TV, watching a movie. What about you? Wait, by yourself? Yeah. Why? My husband is deployed. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for all your uh, Valentine's Day veterans that cannot be part of their, their couple, but at least they'll have them. You should watch it with a movie on Netflix. Like, you should have the movie, and they should have them on a computer. <laughs> And then you and guys we'll could watch, watch the watch same it movie. <laughs> it, it could work. It could work. For me, I think it's just going to be a normal day. I might, I might ask our cameraman, Grester, uh, what he's doing tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding, Grester. We're not hanging out. <laughs> hey, that could be your couple's date. Your friend's date. Or your friend's this just date. got really weird between me and the cameraman. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Valentine's Day. I feel like it's overrated, but at the same time, it's a good way to show someone show you, you care. Them. Yeah, show people that you care about them. And if you don't want to be romantic with someone, get them yellow roses. It symbolizes friendship. It's an easy way to friend zone people with yellow roses. I learned that white roses mean I'm worthy of you. I think that sounds more romantic. Damn, that is really romantic. See, white roses. Get white roses, white, of get white roses if you're trying to like really <laughs> impress the lady, and then tell her what it means. Because if you get her white roses, she might be kind of. It upset. means I'm worthy of you. You heard it here first, folks. All right, well, that was Valentine's Day in a nutshell. It is great for love. It also, it's also, you should have a day where you love yourself. You know, if you don't have that couple, make sure that you have a good day. Well, thank you for stopping by with Talent Talks. I'm Gustavo Laguin. I'm Larissa Morales. And thank you for stopping by The Nest.